Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three squares of different dimensions put together as you can see in this uh, given diagram such that uh, this uh, horizontal uh, length uh, is uh, 25 units whereas uh, this tiny vertical length uh, is uh, 3 units and this uh, vertical uh, length uh, is uh, 8 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region, the area of this uh, square, this square and this square combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on these uh, three squares. Let's focus on this uh, large square. I'm going to label this one uh, as our large uh, square. And this is going to be our uh, medium square. And finally, this one is going to be our small square. And bear in mind that all these uh, boxes uh, are uh, squares. In other words, uh, their side lengths uh, are equal. Let's focus on this uh, medium square. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, x. Then all uh, these uh, side lengths are going to be x uh, as well. And likewise, we are going to focus on this uh, large square. And I'm going to label its uh, side length uh, as y. Then this side length is going to be y, y, and uh, y across the board. And finally, let's focus uh, on this uh, small square. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase a, lowercase a, and uh, lowercase a across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, horizontal uh, distance uh, is uh, 25 units. And this uh, horizontal distance is the sum of these uh, three individual segments, uh, x plus y and then plus lowercase a. So therefore, uh, I can write uh, x plus uh, y plus uh, lowercase a is going to be equal to 25 and I'm going to label this one uh, as our uh, equation number one and now let's focus on this uh, large square and we are going to focus uh, on these uh, three sides of this large square this uh, side this uh, side and finally this uh, side this side is going to be 3 plus uh, x. This side is going to be y. And finally, this uh, side is going to be 8 uh, plus lowercase a. So therefore, I'm going to add all these uh, three sides of this large square. So the first one is going to be 3 plus uh, x plus uh, y plus uh, 8 plus uh, lowercase a. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. Uh, 3 plus 8 is going to give us 11. So therefore, uh, the right hand side uh, could be written as uh, x uh, plus y plus uh, lowercase a plus uh, 11. And now let's focus on this uh, equation one. We know x plus y plus lowercase a equals to 25. So therefore, I'm going to substitute this uh, x plus y plus lowercase a value as 25 over here. So therefore, uh, we can write this thing as uh, 25 uh, plus uh, 11 and that is going to give us equal to 36. So thus the sum of uh, these uh, three sides of this large square uh, turns out to be equal to 36. And now let's focus on these uh, three sides of this large square. We can see this is y plus y plus uh, y. So therefore, uh, this side, three sides going to be y plus y plus uh, y. So therefore, uh, the left hand side is going to be 3y turns out to be equal to 36. And now we are going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate y. And here we can see 3 and 3 is gone. So therefore, our y value turns out to be 12 uh, units. And since uh, this y represents the side length uh, 
of this uh, large square. So therefore, uh, this large square side length turns out to be 12. So thus our y value is uh, 12 across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, large square side length uh, is uh, 12. And this uh, tiny segment length uh, is uh, 3. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, length is going to be 12 minus 3 is going to give us uh, 9. So therefore, uh, our this uh, middle square's uh, side length turns out to be x equal to 9. So therefore, uh, this uh, x value turns out to be 9 across the board. So therefore, our this uh, medium square side length uh, turns out to be 9. And finally, let's focus on this side. We know this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 12. And we know this uh, vertical uh, segment length uh, is uh, 8 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, tiny side length is going to be 12 minus 8 is going to give us uh, 4 units. So therefore, uh, the side length uh, of this uh, small square turns out to be 4. So therefore, uh, all the sides of this uh, small square turns out to be 4 units. So thus our uh, small square side length turns out to be 4 units. And finally, we are going to calculate the area of all uh, these uh, individual uh, squares. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And now let's focus on this uh, large square whose uh, side length is uh, 12. So therefore, our this uh, large square area is going to be 12 uh, whole uh, square. That is going to give us uh, equal to 144. And now let's focus on this uh, medium square whose uh, side length is uh, 9. So therefore, this uh, medium square uh, area turns out to be 9 square. That is going to give us uh, equal to 81. And finally, let's focus on this uh, small whose uh, side length is uh, 4 units. So therefore, our small square area is going to be 4 square. That is going to give us uh, 16 square units. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. And we can see that this uh, blue shaded region area is equal to the sum of this uh, large square area plus the area of the medium square and finally plus uh, the area of the small uh, square. And moreover, our large square area is uh, 144. The area of the medium square is 81. And finally, the area of the small square is uh, 16. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our large square area is uh, 144 plus medium uh, square area is uh, 81 plus finally the small square area is uh, 16. And if we add these numbers, that is going to give us uh, 241 uh, square uh, units, uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 241 uh, square units. So therefore, we can write down the area of this uh, blue shaded region is going to be 241 uh, square uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye